Last time we spoke about a home and uh, we know that once we are home we don't we no longer feel lonely. We feel at home, warm, comfortable, safe. Fulfilled. So home is a place where uh, loneliness disappears. But where is home? And the Buddha said it very clearly that home is in us and there is an island that you have to go back to. The island of self. And this is a practice, not a theory. Loneliness is the ill-being of our time. We feel very lonely, even if we are surrounded by many people. We are lonely together. And uh, there is a vacuum inside of us. We we don't feel comfortable with that kind of uh, vacuum. So we try to fill it up by connecting with uh, other people. We believe that uh, when we can connect with other people, and then the feeling of loneliness will disappear. And technology supplies us with a lot of uh, devices in order to connect, stay connected. We always stay connected, but we feel lonely, continue to feel lonely. We check email several times a day. We send email several times a day. We post messages every time a day. We want to share, we want to receive. And we're busy. Yeah, I get busy during the whole day in order to connect. But that does not help with loneliness, with uh, uh, reducing the amount of loneliness in us. This is what happens in the present moment in our modern civilization. Our relationship is not good. We are not in good relationship with our partner, with our brother, with our sister, with our parents, with our society. We feel very lonely. And uh, we have used technologies in order to dissipate, to try to dissipate that feeling of loneliness, but we do not, we have not succeeded. tradition of Plum Village, every time we sit down on our cushion, that is uh, to connect with ourselves. Because we, in our daily life, we are disconnected with ourselves. We walk and we don't know that we are walking. We are there, but we do not know that we are there. We are alive, but we do not know that we are alive. We are losing ourselves. We are not ourselves. And that is happening almost all all day long. So the act of sitting down is an act of uh, revolution. You sit down and you cut off you stop that state of uh, being, losing yourself, not being yourself. And when you sit down, you connect to yourself, and you don't need an iPhone or a computer to do that. 
you just need to sit down mindfully and breathe in mindfully. And in a few seconds, you connect with yourself. You know what is going on. What is going on in your body. What is going on in your feelings, in your emotions. What is going on in your perceptions, and so on. You are already home, and to take care of home. You have left home for a long time, and home has become a mess. So going home means to sit down and be with yourself and connect with yourself and accept the situation as it is. It is a mess, yes, but I accept it. Because I have left home for a long time. I have allowed things to happen like that at home. So now I'm home. I, I will rearrange everything. And with my in-breath, my out-breath, my mindful breathing, I begin to smile at everything. And I will tidy up my home. I allow my body to release the tension. While I breathe in and breathe out. And the Buddha told me how to do that how to breathe in, and how to release the tension in my body. I'm aware of my feeling of loneliness, of sadness, of fear, of anxiety. I smile to the feeling of loneliness, of fear, of anxiety. I say, my dear loneliness, I know you are there. I'm home to take care of you. And you make peace with your loneliness. You make peace with your fear. There's a wounded child in you. You recognize her. You recognize him. And you embrace him, her, tenderly in your arms. That is the act of going home and taking care of home. Every time you make a step, whether you are breathing in or breathing out, you go back to yourself. Every step brings you home to the here and the now, so that you can connect with yourself, your body, your feelings. And that is a real connection. And you don't need uh, a lot of uh, technology to do that. And this is uh, the revolution. This is the, uh, the way to heal ourselves and our society. We are losing ourselves. We are lost. We have to find ourselves again. We have to go on. And Christmas is a time when we have to practice going home. There is an illusion of uh, connection. You think with that technology, with these uh, devices, you can connect, but you cannot really connect. How can you connect with another person when you cannot connect with yourself? So the teaching of the Buddha going home to the island of self is the way to heal our society, to heal ourselves. So with uh, the act of uh, breathing in, you go inside. The way out is in.
when you take a step, you go in yourself. Because that step brings you home to the here and the now, help you to connect with your body. Your body is your breathing. Your body is your feet. Your body is your lungs. And you are connecting with body, with feet, with uh, breath, with lungs. You are home because body is part of your home. When you spend two hours with your computer, you forget entirely that you have a body. And without your body, how can you be alive? So in Plumlish, many uh, of us uh, uh, program a bell of mindfulness in our computer, and every 15 minutes we hear the bell. And we stop working, we stop thinking. We go back to our in-breath, we enjoy breathing in, and we connect with ourselves, and we smile. We become alive again. We know that we have a body, which is a wonder. Our body is a wonder. And connect is, first of all, connect with body. And then there is a feeling, whether that is a feeling of sadness, or anger, or loneliness, it is us. We connect with our in-breath and out-breath. And then with that mindful in-breath, we connect with our feelings. We smile to our feelings. We say, don't, don't worry, I'm home, I'll take care of you. And you embrace your feeling with tenderness, whether it is fear or anger or loneliness. And warm up ourselves with that kind of practice. This is an act of going home truly, and you don't need a technological device to do so. Be a home for yourself. The Buddha said, be an island unto yourself. Atta dipa sana, taking care, taking refuge in the island of self. That is the practice recommended by the Buddha. So when you walk from the parking lot to your office, why don't you go home with every step? Why don't you, why do you continue to think, to worry, to suffer? Every step can bring you home. You walk like a Buddha, you walk like a, a free person. And that is possible. You recover yourself, you connect with yourself with every step. And freedom is possible. And you are recuperating yourself. You are not losing yourself anymore. You connect with your body. You connect with your feeling with every step. And every step brings you freedom. And if you can find a home for yourself, you can help your partner to find his or her. Because she is lonely also. He is lonely also. And he is looking for, for home, for some warmth, some safety. And that is why once you have got a home, you can go to your partner. You can go to the other person. And since you have a home, you are in a position to help him to have a home also. And you are confident because you know how to how to connect with yourself, how to have a home for yourself. So that confidence in you 
will inspire him or her to do the same. She can find a home in you, and then she will lean on that in order to build a home in her. But before you can go to him, to her, to help, you have to help yourself. You have to connect with herself. And then when you have uh, been able to connect with yourself, and then the next step is possible, you will be successful to connect with the other person. And without the first step, the second step is not possible. And you don't really need an iPhone or something like that. You need your eyes to look at him with compassion. Even if uh, she is not in the same town, you can connect with him, with her easily. Because you are already yourself, you are already home. And whatever you say, whatever you think, will help her, will help him to recover herself. And then when she was able, when she is able to go back to herself, and your relationship become a real relationship. Because both of you have home. And that's why when you come together, you find home in each other at the same time as in each of you. And this is a collective home for both of you. There's a home here, there's a home here, and there's a collective home here. And it is the base of everything. If you want to help society, if you want to help community, if you want to help your country, and then you have to base on this. And when you have a true home, you have happiness, you have safety, you have fulfillment, and then you are in condition to go to the other. Whether they are an individual, or they are a society, a group of people. So this is the way prescribed by the Buddha. Everything has to begin with yourself. And the teaching, the practice is very clear. Every breath, every step, every sitting, every act, like uh, drinking, uh, cleaning, if uh, done in mindfulness, help you to go home and to enjoy the wonders of life around you and in you. Your body is a wonder. And the hill, the clear streams of water, they are all wonders. And they have the power to heal. And Brother Fab Jung is uh, uh, is trying to put these ideas into a, a little page and send to our friends so that they can practice uh, uh, during the uh, Christmas season, the practice of going home to heal ourselves and help heal the world.